A rough start. Colts fall to zero and two. The Indianapolis Colts have had a challenging beginning to their season, and their latest game only added to their woes. The Indianapolis Colts faced a tough loss against the Green Bay Packers, leaving them winless after two games. The Packers, known for their strong offense and solid defense, proved to be a formidable opponent. The Colts struggled to keep up with the pace and intensity of the game, which was evident from the very first quarter. The game highlighted the Colts' ongoing struggles, raising concerns about their ability to compete this season. The coaching staff appeared visibly concerned on the sidelines as they watched their team falter. The quarterback faced immense pressure, unable to find his rhythm or connect effectively with his receivers. The Packers, with a dominant performance, exposed weaknesses in the Colts' offense and defense. Their ability to break through the Colts' defense with ease and score repeatedly showcased the gaps in the Colts' strategy. Missed tackles and poor defensive plays were a recurring theme throughout the game. The Colts' usually strong run game faltered, putting pressure on the passing game to carry the team. The offensive line struggled to create openings, and the running backs found it difficult to gain significant yards. This lack of a balanced attack made the Colts' offense predictable and easier for the Packers to defend against. Unfortunately, the passing game couldn't overcome the Packers' relentless defense. The quarterback was sacked multiple times, and the Packers' defense managed to intercept crucial passes. The wide receivers also had a tough time, dropping several catchable balls, which further compounded the team's problems. This loss emphasizes the need for the Colts to regroup and address their shortcomings if they hope to turn their season around. The team needs to analyze their performance, identify the areas that need improvement, and work diligently to fix them. The coaching staff will have to come up with new strategies and motivate the players to perform better in the upcoming games. The season is still young, and with the right adjustments, the Colts can still make a comeback. First half dominance. Packers take control. The Packers came out strong, setting the pace early in the game. The Packers took an early lead in the first quarter, scoring on their opening drive. Their offense was firing on all cylinders, executing plays with precision and confidence. Their running game consistently gained yards, setting the tone for the game. The offensive line created huge gaps, allowing the running backs to break through the Colts' defense with ease. The Colts' offense struggled to get anything going, punting on their first three possessions. They couldn't find a rhythm, and their frustration was evident on the sidelines. The Packers extended their lead in the second quarter with two more touchdowns. Their relentless attack left the Colts' defense scrambling to adjust. Their quarterback looked comfortable and in control, dissecting the Colts' secondary. He made smart decisions, finding open receivers and exploiting mismatches. The Colts' defense struggled to generate pressure on the quarterback, allowing him ample time to find open receivers. The lack of pressure gave the Packers' quarterback the luxury to scan the field and make accurate throws. The Packers' coaching staff had clearly done their homework, devising a game plan that exploited the Colts' weaknesses. Their strategy was executed to perfection, with every player knowing their role and performing it flawlessly. The fans in the stands could feel the momentum shift, cheering loudly as their team dominated the field. The energy in the stadium was electric, with every play adding to the excitement. The Packers players showed incredible focus and determination, playing with a level of intensity that the Colts couldn't match. Their eyes were set on victory, and they played like a team on a mission. As the first half came to a close, the Packers headed to the locker room with a commanding lead. They had taken control of the game, leaving the Colts with a lot of work to do in the second half. Missed opportunities. Colts unable to capitalize. Despite the Packers' dominance, the Colts had a few opportunities to turn the tide. Early in the second quarter, the Colts drove deep into Packers' territory. However, a fumble on the goal line resulted in a touchback, squandering a golden opportunity to score. Later in the quarter, the Colts' defense forced a fumble, giving the offense excellent field position. However, the offense couldn't capitalize, 
settling for a field goal. These missed opportunities proved costly, as the Packers maintained a comfortable lead. Second half struggles. The lead widens. The second half mirrored the first, with the Packers continuing to control the game. The Colts' defense couldn't find an answer for the Packers' balanced attack. Green Bay's running backs continued to find running lanes, and their receivers consistently got open. The Packers added another touchdown in the third quarter, putting the game further out of reach for the Colts. The Colts' offense showed some signs of life, but couldn't sustain drives or convert in the red zone. Defensive woes Packers' offense runs wild. The Colts' defense struggled mightily throughout the game. They couldn't stop the run, allowing the Packers' running backs to control the clock and the tempo. The secondary also had a rough outing, giving up big plays and struggling to cover the Packers' talented receivers. The absence of several key defensive players due to injuries certainly hurt the Colts. However, the lack of execution and the inability to make adjustments were concerning signs for the team. Offensive struggles. Colts offense sputters. The Colts offense never found its rhythm, struggling to move the ball consistently. The running game, usually a strength, was ineffective against the Packers' stout defensive front. Without a reliable running game, the Colts became one-dimensional, making it easier for the Packers' defense to focus on stopping the pass. The Colts' quarterback faced constant pressure, forcing him to make hurried throws and limiting his ability to extend plays. The offensive line struggled to protect the quarterback, contributing to the offense's struggles. The turning point, a costly turnover. While the game was already slipping away, a crucial turnover in the third quarter sealed the Colts' fate. With the Colts driving and trying to cut into the lead, the quarterback threw an interception that was returned for a touchdown by the Packers. This turnover swung the momentum decisively in the Packers' favor and dashed any hopes of a Colts comeback. It highlighted the Colts' tendency to make costly mistakes in critical situations. A glimmer of hope, late game efforts. Despite the lopsided score, the Colts showed some fight in the fourth quarter. The backup quarterback came in and led a scoring drive, culminating in a touchdown pass. The defense also forced a turnover giving the offense a chance to score again. While these late game efforts were too little, too late, they offered a glimmer of hope for the future. The Colts showed resilience and a refusal to quit, even when facing a significant deficit. Looking ahead, implications for the Colts. This loss drops the Colts to zero and two on the season raising serious concerns about their ability to compete in a tough division. The team has many issues to address, including their struggling offense, porous defense, and costly mistakes. The Colts need to find a way to establish the run game to take pressure off the passing game. Defensively, they need to improve their tackling, generate more pressure on the quarterback, and limit big plays. A long road ahead. Time for reflection and adjustment. The Colts face a long and challenging road ahead. After a tough loss, it's natural to feel disheartened, but this is also a crucial moment for growth and development. The team must look inward and assess what went wrong, and more importantly, how they can improve moving forward. They need to use this loss as a learning experience identifying areas for improvement and making necessary adjustments. This involves not just the players, but the entire coaching staff. Reviewing game footage, analyzing each play, and understanding the mistakes made are essential steps in this process. The coaching staff needs to find ways to put players in positions to succeed, devising strategies that play to their strengths while addressing their weaknesses. It's about creating a game plan that maximizes the team's potential and minimizes the chances of repeating past errors. And the players need to execute at a higher level. This means putting in the extra hours during practice, refining their skills, and building the mental toughness required to perform under pressure. 
Every drill, every catch, every play during practice is an opportunity to get better. The Colts have a talented roster with players who have shown flashes of brilliance. However, talent alone isn't enough to guarantee success. It takes hard work, dedication, and a collective effort to translate that talent into victories on the field. But talent alone isn't enough. The team must also develop a strong sense of unity and trust in one another. Mistakes will happen, but how the team responds to those mistakes will define their season. They need to come together as a team, supporting each other through the highs and lows. Building camaraderie and a positive team culture is just as important as physical training. When players believe in each other and work towards a common goal, they can achieve great things. Play with discipline and focus, maintaining concentration throughout the game. Discipline in football means sticking to the game plan, avoiding